it's me Erica and so today I'm finally doing another figure unboxing. I haven't done one of these in a long long time just because I've been kind of lazy I'm doing them and I've had figures piling up and then I said I don't have time to film a video and I really want to unbox them so I haven't and so I did that and I haven't had the chance to do it but I decided to unbox this one because I really want to show you guys how this is because uh, it is a beautiful figure. I got this for myself as a present for finishing graduate school application so I'm happy and I bought it. This is a 1 8 scale of Mikazuki Minichika or Gigi from Token Rambu. I believe it came out in October of 2018. I had no idea this figure existed uh, before then until I was like roaming around Tokyo Otaku Mode where I bought him and I was like what? I never knew you existed and I need you now. So I decided to get him. And as I mentioned, I bought him from Tokyo Otaku Mode. And Tokyo Otaku Mode is a website where you can buy uh, official Japanese merchandise such as figures and other things that are in your reference for anime. And sometimes even Japanese clothing items, they sell that there. And I, what I really liked about Tom is they have a... A really great reward service and where you purchase stuff and then you get money back and actuality I actually paid for this through Tom points and this retails for like $170 I didn't pay anything because of the Tom points I have accumulated over the time I've been purchasing from their site so if you haven't shopped on Tom there is a link to a code to a 5% off your first purchase and yeah with that let me actually get into like speaking about this figure so the box itself it's a really good box there are some dents in here but I can't find Tom for that because I it was I, I'm pretty sure that's the post office fault for doing that but the box is really pretty it has really cool holographic designs on the cherry blossoms uh, and also his sign that he has or his symbol uh, I will do a closer look for all of this so don't worry if you're like why is she not showing it but there is a really pretty picture of uh, uh, Gigi on the side uh, of it with uh, the holographic soccer petals also. And then on the back it just shows the different sides of it and then it comes with the official sticker uh, to show its authenticity. And as I meant, I don't know if I mentioned this, I might have uh, not mentioned it, but it is a uh, manufactured by Orange Rouge, which is a company that does a lot of the Otome figures and Nendos. So he's been too long in the box and I'm gonna go unbox him. So here is he out of the box. Um, when I was opening the box, I could see that there was also the background for the box has a metallic blue finish and also his symbol and I thought I should just mention that just because if you really want to take pictures of the, the box for the figure <laughs> is uh, really nice to take pictures uh, with it so I'll probably do that as my thumbnail but just looking for himself he doesn't come with much just because he's a scale he comes with his stand that has his symbol a sword and then uh, himself uh, I've noticed that I've read reviews where you really have to be careful with unboxing him just because he has a really fragile piece. That's why there's also like bubble wrap in here as you can tell. So I'm going to be really careful when I finish actually unboxing him which I'm going to do right now. So here he is unboxed. He is very well packaged because as I mentioned there are a lot of really delicate pieces like just taking it out i found this i think it's supposed to be a tassel that's attached to his clothing but i can't really tell if it broke off or if it just was put with something else so i'm really scared i'll figure that out later but yeah he's really fragile if you do decide to buy him just keep that in note uh but the packaging itself is really good like i feel very scared just unpacking all of him because i don't want to break anything because i can't even lay him down to show you i would have to stand him up because i can't lay him down because of this of his clothing so 
I am really careful that I got everything off and I'll show a closer look but uh, I'm gonna put his sword in because I heard this one was the hardest to do uh, so I will leave that here but as mentioned he also comes with a stand that has a symbol and then you would just put him his foot directly to here so I'll come back to you guys after I put them together so here he is unboxed and put all together oh my god I thought I was gonna have a heart attack because putting his sword in is very very like nerve-wracking because I'll show you guys he has a really pretty face, don't get me wrong, but like his like sheath, I think that's, I think the sheath, but his handle <laughs> fits perfectly inside his hand. And yes, that's a good thing, but the bad thing is that you have to get it in the right way or else it's not gonna go in. And because this slot for his hand is so small you have to actually push it in there <laughs> i know this oops i'm not showing it you actually have to push the sword in there for it to fit and there's even instructions in the manual for the, for the box to actually put the sword in you have to hold his hand and then push it I know this sounds like really weird and now I'm like talking to myself I'm saying that but it's really good to know because example if you like putting the sword in and you're holding this and then it does not go in his hand is gonna snap off and he's very delicate um, I think previously I was showing you one of his tassels uh, let me zoom out here. I was showing you one of his tassels that are on here and I was like, I think it broke off and it did. <laughs> um, it's actually on the bottom where it broke off. I actually super glued it on already. Uh, it cut off pretty clean. So I, I mean, I'm glad that it did it's, or else I would have been sad because <laughs> this is an expensive figure. So. I'm glad this broke off instead of like one of his like clothing pieces that are really major. So I would suggest if you have children or you have pets more likely uh, to either skip on off of this figure or actually like secure him in a place where he can't be touched because he is very fragile. Um, that's my main criticism of him, but looks wise he's really cool i know i'm like zoomed in but i will um take some more b-roll but here he is i'm not complaining about how he looks it's more of the fragility of him so if you do have those people in your lives i would say either lock this figure up or just skip on it um but other than that i would recommend him because he's actually pretty uh good looking his shading is really good uh the scars this is the awakening version so this is when he's like fighting and everything and the scars look really realistic and the detail on his fabric is really good it's not just one color it's a gradient of his blue and it's very metallic uh let me just say and he has all his pieces for his garments and yeah Putting him into his stand was really fairly easy, but then again, I was also very careful, like I mentioned, because he is fragile. But other than that, he looks pretty cool. I'm gonna spin him around for you guys. So here he is, he has his scars on his face too. Oh yes, there he is.
So all in all, I'm actually pretty happy with this figure. Uh, apart from its fragility, it is really lifelike in the sense of he comes into life and I really like the gradients and I like this figure a lot because of it is uh, because of its dynamic uh, pose. A lot of the token Rambu figures, I feel like I've seen them just standing. <laughs> Uh, which is, if you really love that character, then I say go ahead for it, but I like that the figure itself is very different from a, to a typical Token Rambu figures. All the Token Rambu figures are really great just because of how much detail goes into them, uh, but I also like having them look different in the poses and this version does that. So I really enjoyed it, so with that, that is the end of my review. Uh, if you haven't known, he's actually my favorite Token Rambu sword, so that's why I decided to buy him. And So I totally recommend buying him if you have the money. He is a bit pricey, uh, but usually that's how scales you typically are. Um, I mean, I guess an average for a scale can range up to like 150 to a uh to 200 uh but if you have the money i would totally say go ahead and buy him so with that thank you so much for watching this video and let me know who is your favorite token rambu sword and with that thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye